already, so today I'm here to talk about The Laramie Project, a play by Moises Kaufman and members of the Tectonic Theater Project. This book was chosen as Henderson State University's Ready to Read book for the year 2013. The play deals with issues such as homophobia, violence, and discrimination. Before I begin this book talk, I must state that this book talk and others to come are based on my personal experience with the material and may not represent the opinions of Huey Library as a whole. On to the book talk. This play was a reaction to the murder of Matthew Shepard in the small town of Laramie, Wyoming in 1998. In case you're unfamiliar, on October 7th, 1998, a young gay man was found tied to a post in the hills outside of Laramie, Wyoming. He had been brutally beaten and left there to die for 18 hours. It was a hate crime that stunned the nation. The members of the Tectonic Theater Project visited the town of Laramie six times over the course of two years, conducting over 200 interviews. This play is a combination of those interviews with excerpts from diaries and news reports. I have not read many plays outside of a classroom setting, but I am somewhat familiar with the traditional format of plays. This play definitely challenged my ideas of plays and of the reading of plays. As stated, I am not well versed in theater, but I did not need to be to know that this play was somehow redefining the medium. This play is made up of 60 characters, played by a cast of 8 actors. The set is very minimalistic, very similar to the play of Our Town, and the costumes only have subtle differences to help you differentiate between different characters. Naturally, those aspects didn't have a huge impact on the reading experience, but the method in which they told the story, which they called moment work, was a bit jarring at first. Let me read an excerpt from the book to better explain this method. There are no scenes in this play, only moments. A moment does not mean a change of locale or an entrance or exit of actors or characters. It is simply a unit of theatrical time that is then juxtaposed with other units to convey meaning. It took me a few moments to adjust to this format, but eventually I became so invested and interested in what these people had to say that I didn't even notice it anymore. Because of the way that it was formatted, it read more like a movie than a play. The moments felt a lot like the way that scenes and shots are used in cinema. My favorite part of reading this play was the way in which this overall story was told. In most visual mediums, stories are shown and not necessarily told. But there was very little reenactment in this play. The story of this town was sculpted together by the words of its community. The story came together like a quilt, all of the pieces and perspectives coming together to create an intricate and profound portrayal of a community. I feel like regardless if you read or watch this play, you as the audience member are responsible for visualizing the moments. In case you could not tell, I thoroughly enjoyed this play and would recommend it to anyone who is trying to get into reading more drama. I must mention, this play does have some mature content, so if you're sensitive to violence or foul language, this play may not be for you. If you've read or seen this play, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're down there, if you have any suggestions for other plays that you think I should read, leave them down there as well. If you're a member of the Henderson State University community, this play runs until October 12th, which is coincidentally the 15th anniversary of Matthew Shepard's death. This play is definitely worth seeing if you're a student, admission is free, and the tickets are only $8 otherwise. I'll leave information below on how to reserve tickets. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you very soon.